Well, well, well. Welcome back. How you guys doing? My name is Claire Fox Soul, and we're in episode two of Learning Dragon Ball Fighters Bronze series. So, hopefully, you watched the very first episode of this series for purposes of trying to play this game. Hopefully, you guys actually did complete the tutorial as I was going through with you. Now, what are we doing today? You have just completed the tutorial. You have got a grasp of the system mechanics. You probably went online. You probably got your ass handed to you. Try to prove me wrong. You probably did good. Who knows? You probably went ahead and played against the arcade. And you probably went ahead and learned your movements a little bit better. And mashed the buttons a little bit more often. So, now. We have to get into something a little bit different now. And what are we going to get into? Is right here. Back over here in the practice section. We're not going to begin training. And we're not doing the battle tutorial. Because you should have completed this. We're going to be going into this. Beginning combo challenge. Hey, this is practice mode. Where you can hone your battle skills. And in here, we are going to go ahead. And we're going to click this. Now, I have not completed all the characters. Like I would like to. However, I've done a few. My favorite character is Team Gohan, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to do Super Saiyan Goku here. And we're going to see what we can do with his combos. This is what you should be doing. Now, I'm going to tell you, if before we get started and we're picking Goku here, if your favorite character is Vegeta, go learn Vegeta. If your favorite character is Piccolo, go learn Piccolo. Go learn Gohan, go learn Frieza, whoever you want on your team. Because this is the primary source of what's going to teach you the basics of what you have in terms of your controls. Now, the combo challenge here is very lacking. A lot of people, I would say, in a sense, within the competitive fighting scene, would say that this is very much lacking. They would wish there was an update to basically put in more advanced and harder combos. But Dragon Ball Fighters combo system to me is a casual friendly introduction to fighting games. This right here is going to help you very immensely. If you do these combos and you get and you put in that muscle memory, that is one word that you need to learn right now is muscle memory. You're gonna ask me, what is muscle memory? Well, Pad the player is going to explain like this. Muscle memory is you see this chain of command right here. Now, this is an auto combo. We're going to get through this real fast. Three, three, four. Three, three, four. Basically, we're going to get through all this. These right here are your basic top auto combos. Let's try and teach you. Hey, look, you can do all of this. You got time, you got non time right here. So, you have Dragon Rush that you can apparently do right here. And then, look. Your light actually acts as three. The stylish system in here actually made the light button both your light, your medium, your heavy. However, let's do that again real quick. Look at the damage. Let's test something. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if this is possible or not. I might be wrong here. Yeah, I could do it with the same three buttons. Interesting. Now, this is gonna teach you, like, what is your first super? Well, your first super is a light super. It's a dragon flash fist. Your next super, which is also dragon flash, is the same one, but unique. There's a little bit more damage. And you get another one, which is heavy. So I'm not sure, I don't remember if the Tori teaches you that or not, but I don't think it does. Now, we have another ability, which is our super come on, coming on the top. You're gonna to need to learn all this. Oh my gosh, look at this. Oh gosh, Travis, Fox, what is this? None for you to worry about. Basically, let's just tell you to do this. Don't you remember we did this already in the tutorial? Oh, okay, yes. But Travis, what is this? Well, this is the starting of manual combos. You're graduating, Junior. See? What is this? This is the medium dragon fist. 
Now, it wants you to tie it into this, which is a warp Kamehameha. So basically, it wants you to tie them both in. Now, it's starting to get a little bit more harder. Not much. Not that not, not much. It's just getting a little tad harder now. Oh, I just messed that up. How oh, can I fix it? Don't worry. Even I have mistakes here. Oh, crap. <laughs> this looks a little bit more difficult. It's asking me to do a whole bunch of different things. But what does what is this going to do? Hit your start button. Play the demo. It's going to show you. This is what it wants you to do. Now, this is where muscle memory comes involved. Basically, what I want you to do is, if you're having trouble with this, is I want you to break it down. Basically, it wants you to crouch first. It wants you to press the head. After that, it wants you to press head. Oh, look. We just did the first part very easily. We did the first, and we added something to it, which we were not supposed to. We messed up. What happens if you mess up? Just hit your touchpad. Whether it's on your arcade stick or whether it's on your controller. Do it again. Do this. Get this part. Get this in your head. Now, before you continue, though, if you were having trouble with it, that was number nine, right? Guess what? Go back. Go back until you can do it consecutively. Oh crap, we forgot to put in an extra attack. Oh crap, we accidentally going forward triangle because it feels natural. We have to teach this hand not to do that. Oh crap, we added another button. You see? Until you get it into a consecutive motion, you need to go ahead and keep practicing it before you move on to the next one. Now here, this looks a little bit more complicated, doesn't it? Let's take a look at the demo one more time. Oh my God. This is a manual combo that puts you into your meteor smash or your ultimate. Do it. Let's find out right now. Oh crap, what happened there? What happened? This is probably gonna be your first problem. What happened? You're accidentally not listening to the tutorial. Well, I'm not listening to it apparently. I'm not reading this correctly. It's telling me to jump and then hit the medium button. Let's try it again. Oh, look at that. Look at that. We're breaking it down. We're understanding the... We're understanding the core concept there. We're messing up again. We're breaking it down. This is what I want you to do. I want you to break down a combo. Because there's some people that was in my live stream was like, Oh man, this is really hard to do, man. You can't do these challenges. Well, break it down. Break all of this down. Break it down. And look what happens when you break it down. You're able to pull off a combo. And look what it says. You have completed all the combo challenges for this character. Exit and go back to the lobby. I wouldn't recommend that for you. I would recommend that if you're having tr trouble with this combo, for example, keep practicing it. Understand it, get it consecutively in your head. Understand what your hands need to react to, what your hands need to do. This was one of the hardest challenges for me when I first started getting into fighting games, was building up muscle memory. And playing Guilty Gear XR, I was the type of person that only would do stuff like, let's do supers, like this. It's the only way I would fight. It's like I would do this, I would do this. I wouldn't put effort into 
I wouldn't put effort into actually understanding combinations. But once you start building this grasp, you can do amazing things. So, let's go ahead and find another character. Let me go pick one of my characters because this is where I want to sort of show a little bit more in the scenario of what things can happen. We have just did it with Goku, right? Goku was relatively easy for me. Now, the first night that I was doing this, if you go check one of my live streams, I was having trouble with the muscle member because, well, I changed the buttons on my arcade stick. And this is where, to me, where is my, what's the next character? Let's do Team Mohan again. This is where the problem comes into play for me when I was trying to do the live stream. I was reading the buttons. I was not reading what is it, light, medium, or heavy. Because as a person who played Guilty Gear and their their tutorial is fucking beautiful. Arc System Works did a beautiful job on that, and I don't know why they did such a failure in this one in a sense. But you see how it says square for the light combo? That's X for me. This is my X button. It's not my square button. I play on an arcade stick, so this is all this is all my X. Okay. Triangle is actually my square. But look what it does. It also puts it in the super if you have a bar. In some cases, you don't want that to happen. We'll explain that later on in the series. And circle is actually my triangle. So I was having so much trouble, and I might still have trouble doing this because when I read it, I, I kind of want to press triangle. Like, I, I still want to play triangle, but that is heavy now. So now I want you to do a five hit combo with this. This is where easiness comes in. You can do that quarter circle, and then you can hit. You can just mash the crap out of triangle. Boom! You're perfectly good, man. Oh crap! What's this? What is this? This is an uppercut. Mm. So we got. Remember Goku? Oh, does the same exact thing, pretty much. Then we have Super Dragon Flight into motionless Kamehameha. Over now. So basically, it wasn't good. Okay, pretty decent. I want us to do the heavy version of this. Okay, give it a shot. Now we didn't exactly have to do that. I don't believe. I just put a little flare on it. What it really wanted us to do was this. Oh, maybe not. Let's see. Oh, it actually does it automatically with three hits. I didn't even realize that. I didn't have to go on that much. I didn't even realize that. I thought you just had to mash it. Oh crap, we're getting close to the end here. It wants us to do a crouching medium to heavy, super dash, vanish. Holy moly, what is this, Travis? Holy crap. Look at this. Holy crap, there is a lot of things going on here. Can we break this down? Can we break this down? I think we can break it down. Hey, see, that was not a good example for me on this side. Oh, wrong, wrong one. Go back to nine. How do we break this down? You're having trouble with this combo. I guarantee you, one of you is having trouble with this combo. You got eight seconds, basically, to beat this in. How do we do this? Break it down. Let's just go ahead and try to get to the Vanish. Don't worry about the five hit combo, let's just get to the Vanish. You did it. Beautiful, do it again. Oh crap, you messed up. Do it again. Do this over and over. Practice this. Get that muscle memory. And then, when you are done, add that in there. You already should know that. It taught you that already. You should already fucking know that. Now, we're going to get into something a little bit more difficult. And this right here, I'm going to be completely honest to you beginner players. I don't find this a practical combo. Especially, this is not something that I would do with Team Gohan. This is something that looks really fucking cool, really fucking flashy. But this is a little bit difficult. And at the same point in time, this is something that if you fuck this up, 
there could be consequences to this. So as a practicality to this, we're gonna do it just to help build your fingers, your muscle memory, get a grasp of what you can do. But this is something, honestly, I feel would not be a practical scenario or combo for people. So let's go ahead, let's give this a shot. Oh, see, I'm pressing X. And it's supposed to be a circle. We're making a mistake here. What is the mistake? What is that mistake that we made right there? We're not doing it in the appropriate positioning. Basically, it wasn't a jump. I didn't do it. Like, as soon as we jump. Oh boy, we have trouble here. As soon as we jump, it wants us to do it. Not a second later, not a millisecond later, right? Now. It wants us to do it right when we jump. See, this doesn't tell you, like, it's a jump. I didn't do it. Oh crap, I gotta do it four times. Hey, see, if you delay it. It comes to the problem. Now, I have trouble with this combo. But I can pull it off. I've pulled it off before several times. We're gonna do it again. We need to break this down. And the problem that I have with this is, like I said, this part here. See, we just did that. We we're supposed to actually add an extra triangle. So I went a little bit too fast, thinking I hit triangle when I actually just did a quarter circle triangle. So we'll get it. See, that wasn't gonna work. Again, I did the same problem. Honestly, you could probably pull it off like that. You could probably actually skip that, but we want to add that damage. So we could probably skip that though. Let's do this again. See, we can't do it there. We got it right there. Oh, we almost had it. Now it wasn't out of coming, huh? We technically got it, but we did, but we didn't do it at the appropriate time. Now this all needs to be, why did that happen? That's my question. Why did that happen? Well, I can tell you why it happened. Because you gotta do this in a consecutive, very consecutive timing. Basically, you gotta do this all in one motion. Now, you still need to break it down. We got it broken down. Now it's time to teach our hands. We need to do this faster. Did we do it fast enough? No, we did not. So reset it. Oh crap, we hit the heavy button instead. We didn't hit the triangle like we were supposed to. Keep going until you get it. You didn't get it. We might have it here. We might, yes. Yes. And for some reason, even though I was hitting the R1 right here, the full power of the father son coming out did not come through. What did I mess up there, I wonder? Oh crap, it didn't come out that far. What I like to do here is just smash them. Trick out of this button right here until it comes out. Like I said, I have trouble with this combo. I know you guys have trouble with this combo, but if you... And I will do this myself, is if you keep going ahead and doing this combo in a sense, and you keep doing it faster, whatever combo it is, whether it's for Trunks, Gohan, Goku, whoever you want to play, whatever three characters you want to play, and you do it over and over, you're going to understand, your hand's going to understand what buttons what, your hand's going to understand how fast it can go, and then you're building up this muscle memory and this concept of speed. 
of consecutiveness, of understanding what your character can do. So, this will conclude this tutorial, which we have just broke down in, the first, in these two first episodes, the tutorial and the combo. Now, like I said, when it comes down to all this, we'll return back to the lobby. <coughs> Excuse me. What I'm going to explain here is, when it all comes down together, these little steps are going to help you immensely to get up there, to get to a grasp. Now, in the third episode, we're going to go ahead and we're going to get into the actual training of everything. We're going to go start learning a little bit more about this game and understanding its core concepts. Then we're gonna go ahead and probably, after doing more of this, we're probably gonna go hit a local battle and fight the CPU. Why? Because we need to go ahead and teach you mentality of what can and cannot be done. Well, not can and cannot be done. What you need to know in a mental state when you are ready to get into a battle. A lot of people has been asking me like, 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 not ask me, but tell me in my live stream, like, dude, you're good. And I'm like, no, I suck at the game. And they're just like, no, stop being modest, man. And I'm like, no, I really suck at the game in reality. Compared to a lot of people who are finding a lot of new what we call tech in this game. And what I'm going to say here is, is that, you know, we're going to teach all, all this. I'm going to teach you from my ground, from my point of view of everything. And I want to see you guys who goes through these tutorials expand upon it create another tutorial show me what you got and don't be afraid to go online don't be afraid to go fight someone who's better than you don't rage quit I'll explain all that in the next upcoming episodes here of the bronze series so thank you so much for taking the time for watching this video you guys are amazing hopefully We'll get to battle each other one day online. And, um, yeah. Take it easy. I'll catch you later. See you guys on the flip side. Peace!